Folks in Red Lake Falls, Minnesota, are now turning some national negative publicity into tourism gold. As we told you earlier this week, the Washington Post ranked Red Lake County as the worst in America. As Valley News Team's Neil Carlson shows us, folks there are turning the tables on that negative publicity with Minnesota Nice. The Washington Post ranked Red Lake County as the worst in the nation based on scenery and climate. Jason Brumwell of Voyager's View Campground and Tubing says he just smiled when he heard about the article. He says his own opinion of this being a beautiful place is constantly reinforced by many of the 20,000 people who pass through here every summer. As, as somebody who gets to hear how beautiful this, this place is every single day from people all over the world, all over the U.S., you know, it, it didn't bother me. It's, it's somebody sitting in an office in Washington, D.C. who's never seen this place. I think it's wonderful. I think it gives us uh, thousands of dollars of publicity that we never had before and put us on the map. Uh, I remember one guy telling us one time that we're the best kept secret in northwestern Minnesota. Yeah. Now we're no longer the best kept secret, so. <laughs> it all started folks here thinking, why not even get more free publicity and invite the author of that article, Christopher Ingram, for a visit. You're running around in there, flat plains everywhere. And then you come to Red Lake Falls and all of a sudden you're in the valley and, and just the rolling hills and it's, it's absolutely beautiful here. Nobody around here disputes that. And guess what? Today, Washington Post reporter Christopher Ingram said yes to Brumwell's invitation to visit. He's scheduled to spend a couple of days here looking around this area with its biggest promoter, Jason Brumwell. But it's kind of neat to have, have people from all those different countries come here and, and just tell us how beautiful the place was. Uh, from Red Lake Falls, Minnesota, Neil Carlson, Valley News Live. We'll have this story when the Washington Post reporter visits Red Lake Falls next week. If you'd like to see the Washington Post article, we have it online. Go to valleynewslive.com, click on this story.